made it to Wellington. It is the capital of New Zealand and I'm not spending a whole lot of time here. I just have a few hours before I jump on the ferry to the South Island because I only have a week left in New Zealand and I need to spend at least a week in the South Island. So, there's a cable car here that I've never been on a cable car up in a keeler, so it's the only one left in New Zealand. So I'm gonna hop on that and so you can see some really pretty views of Wellington. Museum, so check that out. So I'm currently sitting in a hundred year old cable car. It's crazy. This museum's really small. They what there is a video playing over there, and then a few other little little exhibits and then of course the gift shop <laughs> right up behind me outside those windows. But it's cute, it's cute. There's a wax figure driver, conductor, person guy. It's precious. There's so many beautiful pathways with beautiful lookout vantage points and you just have to stop and look at every single one. It's just so pretty. Stunning. And the sun's coming out to play which is really nice. A really nice day today. There's also free botanical gardens that you can walk around to rock around a little bit, but I'm going to head back down to the cable car to go back to my car because my meter is running and I only have like an hour left on my parking meter. So it is very pretty up here though. I should definitely come up here. It's very cool. camera in a couple days mostly because I've pretty much just been driving but I made it down almost halfway down in the South Island and I am at my first glacier ever. I'm at Franz, Franz Joseph Glacier and I'm really excited to see my first glacier so I'm gonna start walking towards it and I just have to tell you the drive-in was absolutely beautiful. I've seen a few waterfalls so far and I'm really excited, so let's go. So the glacier is a good 45 minute walk, maybe from the from the car from the parking lot, and which is actually really nice because being in the car for two to five hours at a time, it feels so good to walk a bit, stretch my legs, and it, it's so pretty. It's just so pretty to. Take a nice little walk through through the nature. Okay, let's keep walking. minutes to get here, maybe 15. There's a sign that said it was going to take an hour and a half walk loop, so maybe that includes photo taking. I don't really know. But you can really hardly see it, but this whole entire thing used to be filled with the glacier. And it's just really sad to think that it's melted this much in about 108 years. Alright, I'm going to see if I can get down there. I see a few people walking down there. I'm going to see if I can get any closer. Cross the river. Some more waterfalls. So pretty. But oh man. Oh man. Such a good time. 
such a beautiful walk. It's really, really short and really, really easy. Not strenuous at all. The views. Mm, so good. So good. It started raining a bit, which is sometimes a good thing because that means I have it pretty much to myself. which still is pretty close and I feel like it's a lot closer than all the videos that I've seen because I feel like most of the videos that I see they're usually back there at that viewpoint but now that I'm up close it looks like it's so much further back it's so much more melted than I thought and it's so so cool that it's my first glacier it's so awesome and another thing that is the best part I have it all to myself. We'll accept him. But, but yeah, it's so cool. Love it. A new wave of people has shown up, so it's my cue to head back. And it actually probably took maybe an hour to get to that point. I was confused when the sign said hour and a half because I thought they were talking about that viewpoint way back there. Um, but they meant as far as you can go. So yeah, I'm gonna head back. I can also tell that I have been cooped up in the car for too long and have not moved my body because I am practically running running through this hill, which is not good because it, I think it used to be a riverbed and so there's tons of rocks, just loose rocks that can potentially twist your ankle. So you have to be really careful. Another cool thing that you can do here if you want to shell out the money is take a helicopter ride. You can take a helicopter ride take you over the glaciers for an even closer look which is pretty cool or you can also get like a personal guide too you can hear <laughs> the helicopter or you can also get a personal guide and I think they have special equipment that they can actually take you out to the glacier safely so if you wanted to touch the ice you could hire a guide as well but it's so cool It is sad that this all used to be glacier and now it's just dry riverbed. But seriously, these mountains or foothills or whatever they're called are beautiful. So beautiful. I needed to stop, stretch my legs, and look at that. It's so pretty. This drive is just too pretty to continue on without stopping. There is a little sheep farm, and I feel like I couldn't leave without showing a little bit of sheep farm. Maybe I can find some that'll be closer in the future, but it was just too pretty with the snow-capped mountains behind it, and then the sheep, you can hear them bawling, and it's really, really pretty. And the sun is out, mm, love it. All right, I need to get back in the car because I still have about two and a half hours left of my drive to get to Lake Taupo. I forgot to tell you guys that's where I am headed next. Um, because there's supposed to be some really pretty views of Mount Cook, and Mount Cook is the tallest mountain in New Zealand. So, two and a half more hours, it's almost, it's like four o'clock, so let's, keep, let's get going. All right, you guys, I am going to say goodbye here. Um, I hope you had fun with me checking out a little bit of Wellington, and then, of course, Franz Joseph Glacier. I had a super awesome time seeing my first glacier ever. But now it's time to say goodbye. And if you want to see what I get up to next in New Zealand, because um, I have some pretty fun things planned coming up, don't forget to hit subscribe 
and I will see you there.